Right, let's turn our attention to what the papers uh, have been uh, writing about. Andrew Allison is the campaign manager for the Freedom Association and joins us. Good to see you again. Good to see you too. Thanks for coming in. Uh, not surprisingly, I guess, on all the front pages, a certain aircraft. Yes, Flight MH17 is on the front page of every single newspaper, which is unusual. There has to be a really big story. Uh, front page, the Guardian bodies piled onto a train amid grim farce at MH17 crash site. Front page of the Sun, Putin's boxed in. I think that's, a, that's an appropriate headline, because this, this was not a case of mistaken identity, in my mind. Uh, military jets do not routinely fly at 33,000 feet. It was shot down to create an international incident. And the military hardware, serious piece of kit that was used to shoot this down, the rebels would have had to have been trained to use that, has come directly from Moscow. Uh, Putin does have blood on his hands, and it's also reported that David Cameron is trying to get world leaders together to, to have sanctions against Russia. I, I think you've just got to hit uh, Putin where it hurts most, and that's in the rubles. Um, they, yes. it's, it's, Russia's super rich and are going to put up with um, w with Putin too much longer if he's going to uh, behave in this way and it's going to cost them money. The main thing is that they need access to this site, don't they? Because if the families haven't gone through enough already, the, the fact that they can't bring their family home must be the most horrendous thing. And knowing the fact that they're in the hands of strangers mm. as well must just be horrible. It must be absolutely awful and uh, that has been the problem. The, the, the access to the site has been restricted. There's been even reports of, uh, of the rebels there moving bodies and, uh, and things like that. So that, that's, that's absolutely awful but you can just tell there's there's an attempt for a cover-up immediately it's it, it's just there right from the very start we need to get to the to the heart of this problem absolutely okay uh, let's bring matters slightly closer to home something from the daily mail i think yes it says councils cut services not salaries although i will hasten to add that it's got nothing to do with our local councils here but if you're a senior manager and you're preaching wage restraint to the troops um the last thing you really want to do is going is, is to accept large pay rises for yourself and that is still, unfortunately, going on in, in some councils, and I've spoken at length about that in my previous life with the mm. Taxpayers' Alliance. But, I mean, Stoke on Trent Council approved a £5,000 pay rise for its chief executive, brought his salary up to nearly £196,000, and on the same day agreed to slash £21 million from services. Um, so it's still going on, but thankfully, as I say, not in our local councils. But some councils still haven't learned. It's an extraordinary story, isn't it, why people can't... I don't know, some kind of restraint be... Uh, you just exercise some form of restraint. What yeah, well, you, well, you do, but I think greed comes into it, doesn't it? So, you know, you, you're saying, um, you know, you can't have a pay rise, a very small pay rise for, for the administrative assistant or whatever it is at the bottom. Uh, but uh, someone says, well, we think you've done a really good job. Um, how about £5,000, £10,000 pay rise? Well, if you really think I've deserved it, then um, greed comes into it. And thank you very much, yeah. In The Times today, there's a, this story about... Um, we're talking about the ageing population... Well, it's happening in prison as well. It is, yes. Yes, a, there is a rise of old age uh, offenders. Um, um, overall, 727 offenders aged over 60 were convicted of sexual offences. That was an increase from 656 in 2009. I suppose Rolf Harris and people like that are, 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 are helping... Uh, well, Yes, I think helping, helping, with, is, yeah, helping with the statistics. Yeah, yeah. but it's, it's not very nice. But yeah, yeah I think but, it's but, finished but, helping police with their inquiries. Well, 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 I, th I think well, unless yeah. there's even more to come, mm. I, 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 I don't know. But obviously, as the um, as the population gets older and people are fitter for longer, then if they've led a, a life of crime mm. in the past, they're probably just going to continue that life of crime when they're over sixty. Um, but it is actually putting pressure on prisons. The amount of uh, old age pensioners having mm. to be put inside. A lot of it will be to do with uh, cold cases. They're better at solving old crimes now, aren't they? With the the technology that we have, so they're getting people who maybe did things 20, 30 DNA years ago. and things like that, yes, they can get them now. OK, final one then, let's turn our attention to sport and the Telegraph, and not surprisingly a certain golfing ch uh, championship. <laughs> Great well, story. Yeah. Well, yeah. exactly. You, you know, I, I mean, it's been a pretty miserable sporting year for, for UK sport, hasn't it? You know, but... Um, Northern Ireland can celebrate, and uh, Rory McIlroy won the Open yesterday, but um, his father's also won a little, <laughs> little something as well. Um, his father placed a £200 bet 
ten years ago that his son would win the Open by the age 25. Well, he did it just in the nick of time, <laughs> but uh, he put on, say, £200 of 500 to 1, so apparently he's going to pick up £80,000 in winnings. That's not bad, is it? it? That yeah. Brooks last night have confirmed both payouts because some of his friends yes, also put says, the same bet yeah. on as well. Really? Yes. That's what I said yesterday. I thought, well, his dad doesn't need the money. Rory's loaded, isn't he? But, he said, no, but it's sad that his friends, his dad's friends also put the bet on, so they're yep. getting a bit of cash yep. as well. So, so, so they're really celebrating some headaches in Northern Ireland there this morning. <laughs> I bet there will be. Uh, listen, good to see you again, Andrew. Thank, Thank you, you very much indeed for coming in. There we are, Andrew Allison having a look through the papers. So